All right, next up, the New Mexico Bowl, where we have New Mexico State and Fresno State. We have uh, the uh, Aggies, New Mexico State, three and a half point favorites. 51 uh, is the uh, total here in this game. Uh, when you look at this, um, I think the money going toward New Mexico State's accurate. Um, now, keep in mind, we did see Diego Pavia elbow injury that he suffered in the Conference USA Championship game uh, against Liberty, and he couldn't finish that game uh, for New Mexico State. So we'll see if he is better and good to go for this game. It looks like Jerry Kill says he is, so that's a good sign that uh, New Mexico State will have their. Uh, I would and now he's not a star quarterback compared to you know your big Power Five QBs like Nix and Penix Jr. and Jaden Daniels who just won the Heisman and uh, quarterbacks like that. But for a group of five quarterback, this is a star quarterback. He was excellent this year. Uh, Diego Pavia, outstanding season. Used his arm. Uh, got better, I thought, with his accuracy. Obviously, he's got the mobility uh, as well. This was just an outstanding season for New Mexico State. Um, the fact that they lost in Conference USA's championship game against Liberty. We just talked about it, Connor, with Miami O. I think there's a mentality where when you won the conference championship, you come into your bowl game and the bowl game's kind of like an afterthought or kind of like a, you know, and that's not as important or as, you know, meaningful for us as winning our conference championship. There sometimes can be a letdown for teams after they win their conference championship when they play their bowl game. That's what I'd worry about with Miami O. With this game, you've got New Mexico State off losing the conference championship game. I think there's I think they want to b- bounce back here and finish the season with a W, finish it strong, you know, a- a- and end on a high note because this whole season really has been a high note for uh, New Mexico State. They've gotten better. And when you look at Fresno State on the flip side in this New Mexico Bowl, you know, it's a team that limped down the stretch, 0 and 3 straight up, 0 and 3 against the spread. They didn't play good football. They got blown out by San Jose State, blown out by San Diego State, which was an atrocious loss in their final game. They lose as 23 point favorites against New Mexico uh, at home. Now you've got Jeff Tedford, who has uh, stepped away from the team for health reasons. So he isn't coaching here in the bowl game. Tim Skipper, who is the assistant head coach and the linebacker coach, is going to assume head coaching duties. So you've got a, a coaching influx here. You've got Logan Fife in the transfer portal here for uh, Fresno State. A couple of key players on defense, you know, have entered the transfer portal and have opted out, won't play in this bowl game either. On the Fresno State side, to me, it's a clear, in my opinion, motivational advantage. And yes, Mikey Keene will be still there and be the starting quarterback for uh, Fresno. But I, I got to say it, since he got missed that game, or what I think it was way back in the season due to injury, you know, he's been a little bit more erratic uh, as far as his play down the stretch. I mean, you look at these last couple of games, he's barely had 60% completions. And in the last three games, those three losses, he has one touchdown only and two interceptions. So it's not like Mikey Keene played well for Fresno in those last three games where they lost all three of them, both straight up and ATS. So the money's moved on New Mexico State. I agree with it. I've already bet New Mexico State. I think they're the side here in this one. Connor, New Mexico Bowl, what do you think? Yeah, I I like New Mexico State in this game, and especially really Pavia, the whole shoulder with him. They, they say, Jerry Kill, that everything's looking good. Um, so as long as I hear that here coming up, uh, I'll be on them. Fresno State, you talked about Tedford being out. You know, this happened the three or four years ago. That's not a great sign. The defense early on was pretty good, and they were great. They got turnovers, man. I think they're seventh in the country. I think it was 11 or 12 this year plus, and it kind of faded down the stretch. And what is not good, what New Mexico State does really well, is runs the football. And when I saw these last three weeks, New Mexico, not a very good football team. 350, 320 for San Jose. And even last week, a San Diego State team that wasn't good at all really had run the ball with much success. 220. So if they can't stop the run, this could be a long, long day for Fresno State. So I agree with you here. It's uh, just waiting on the news with Pavia, Mexico State. No doubt. All right.